Hi, this is Danielle Zana. Basically, I'm doing a, a response to something in a discussion on Fit Life because I just don't feel like typing because I've, I've just basically end up repeating myself over and over. I've actually explained things in that animated character video who, um, and uh, what I've said is just gone in that ear and out the other. Um, first of all, I'm going to go with break down things just to keep the video short and um, and be easier to hear and all that. Well, first of all, um, you go on about you know rules and regulations, blah blah blah, websites and all that. Many people don't understand certain aspects. Um, first of all, where do these rules and regulations come from that that have, that have been put in the policy and then enforced on people? Not used as guidelines, but enforced, where they bash the shit out of people when they're doing nothing wrong, but just being their creative selves, um, where they follow their conscience of love, empathy, compassion, and understanding. Now, um, uh, this is totally, I don't know, mind-boggling in a sense. Um, the rules and regulations imposed and enforced that people come from ideologies of religions, particularly the Christian religion, where they have ideologies of what is, um, you know, with morals and everything, morals and dogma, that has actually been put into law and everything like that. You know, that's why there's very little freedom. Um, and when art is something that's supposed to provoke thought and make people think, um, not to force people on what to think and how, you know, what to think. Um, this can be observed when looking at an alternative culture, such as the Islamic cultures. They're a bit more extreme than Christians. Um, but the thing is, the internet is actually linked up the entire planet. So therefore, you have multicultural users. Right, and which actually need respect, and it doesn't mean that one culture should be put a, a better than another culture. There's supposed to be tolerance. Um, the thing is, um, you know, an open mind and that the human form is natural, and that's that's what it is. Um, the way that they actually look at it is just really blows my mind and see nothing but just sex when the matter of the fact is actually beautiful it's sensual and all that and um, you know sensuality is not just sex you know and this is what I get upset about when my work just gets classified just as sex and and my work is sensual and it's like the thing is, in a spiritual as well, um, not religious, but the thing is, you know, you can also look at the um, the murals done by M uh, Michelangelo with his nudity and all that. You can look at it in a spiritual sense as well, but that does not get affected. And what is funny and weird is, um, the whole Christian dogma and ideology is very much against nu nudity. Then why is there nudity in the Vatican? done by Michelangelo. It makes no sense whatsoever. And the thing is, this is what people have to, have to stand up and, and say something. But the thing is, nobody is actually backing each other up. And and I feel my creativity has been infringed, infringed on, as well as my culture. And the thing is, it's not just American culture, just because Facebook is in America, DeviantArt's in America, therefore I must conform to American culture. Basically, my culture should be tolerated, even though it's cosmic. And the thing is, the also I was mentioning is that the problem of having your own domain is you can't really share works in progress. Um, I normally upload my completed works, and then with a story and all that, but the thing is, when I have my work in progress, I'll, I openly share it with family and friends so they can easily access and see what I'm doing. 
provide some input, some motivation. I need a bit of motivation now and again from the shit I get from people because of what I am. And uh, this whole discrimination thing I get from Facebook authorities is not really motivating at all. But then I got friends in that who actually get frustrated to the point where I can't reply to them or respond to them. How would you like it if you had been blocked from a website just for being yourself and being expressing yourself and your work is not pornography but it's just because it's nude and sensual um, and natural and because I've actually seen uh, Facebook accounts where people have actually uploaded pornography I say pornography which is nothing but right click save as on the desktop and then from official porn websites and then uploaded it to Facebook and then me I do art where I actually draw and I show people how I do things so that they can learn from and as well because because of my way of drawing is not mainstream and they can see certain people that might like my methods and they can learn from that um, also um, I have friends and family who like to keep an up the, uh, who are actually interested in my work and how I do things and can't access my live stream because they've got bandwidth limits so they just like to see the, um, the snapshots of the screen and to actually remove that it is really preposterous and the thing is not many users or, or friends and family know how to use the rest of the internet um, they all get their information and their connectivity through Facebook because it's easy to use you know particularly new users and all that and when they go to another website, and not many people actually, you know, go to like, say, for example, Fur Affinity, just to see my art only, and they don't know, and they don't do art themselves, but they like to look at art, and um, they would find no need to be on Fur Affinity, you know, just it is, it's just ridiculous, um, and even Fat Life, like. Like who from Facebook would actually go to Fat Life, um, where they just want to stay because they don't know how to w work with it and interact. And also, I also found the the, the fur I've actually joined the Fur Affinity. Um, I found the message uh, inbox system is rather confusing, you know, and I found it very difficult to communicate to people. With. It's just it's like TV not gone gone like it was used to, where I battled to communicate through it. And, I, and it took me a long time to, to um, communicate with people and get myself out there. And it just is about uh, the point where I'm actually um, donating uh, or paying for subscription on the website. I got the hang of how the thing works. And then I get kicked. Nah, you know, seriously. Um, and then often, uh, you know, basically, it's, it's really. Th and then you accuse me of my video is being self pitiful excuse me if you've been through the life that what I've been through um, being forced and conformed um, you know having your um, say if your genitalia uh, has been mutilated how would you feel and then from that you've been forced by your parent to do this and that and that and you go from there and you, you get forced to do that and that at school no, seriously, self pity. I don't know where the fuck you get that from. Seriously, people who think like that just haven't had been through shit in life. And the thing is, people who have, you know, need to get together and stick together and stand up. I am speaking out, and I think all the artists speak to spoke out because basically, slowly by slowly. The freedoms of the internet being taken away. Did we not? When when I first joined, there was no such thing as mature tags. You know that there was nothing. Uh, and slowly and slowly, they, they ended up getting strict on them. Slowly and slowly, first was just nudity. Um, no, actually, first was just uh, it was like 
intimacy uh, when they first came out and it was voluntary and then it got enforced and then it was become then it became like nudity and it be censored and then later on that not just nudity even if the figures wore clothing just because the clothing is um, uh, creative and unique um, and uh, and because it's that it looked look fetish and kind of like, was like what the fuck and they censored that as well uh, you know um, people got to realize and understand where these laws and all that co it comes from and for it comes from religion it comes from religion and the thing is why should politics and all that be controlled by religious ideology you know the internet's supposed to be a neutral place of diverse culture and one culture should not be antagonizing another culture you know and Facebook and DeviantArt are international and many multicultural people use it it's not American only you know I don't know I, I just found your response rather upsetting and saying self-pity really I, I don't get it just because I'm speaking out and telling my story and, and sharing the abuse that I got it's not being self-pity it's just telling the truth what the fuck happened to me and what's fucked me up seriously I don't need this shit okay that's it. I had a little rant. Sometimes I, I, I end up repeating myself. Nobody want, seems to want to understand or have the empathy to understand what I go through. It's like basically because my art, because my art is my work, it's my life. Um, many people who share the. Uh, what they do at work and all that on Facebook and all that it's like they don't get discriminated why should I seriously think about that think about it you know think about it I, I don't need this and I just don't end up and mean say oh make your own webs and all that yeah easy said than done Facebook had been made by a team of people DeviantArt had been made by a team of people you get it a team not one person a team the technology isn't advanced enough to actually create a, a, an interactive social website you get other webs uh, web pl places like Ning and all that but that's all under the Ning umbrella even though it's a separate thing um, but the thing is everyone's on Facebook and all that family and friends and all that everything and uh, I just do what like I mentioned the video I just uh, you, I, sometimes I just wonder if you actually uh, listen to what I said in the video, and then you jump on the conclusions, uh, say I'm self pity. Many people just do that. Assume, assume. People are always assuming. As you know, people are always assuming, and I, I'm I'm tired of that. I'm really tired of that. And yes, because. You know that Facebook is involved with the CIA and all that. So is your telephone line. So is your emails now. You know what's the point? It's just that Facebook has just brought everybody together. Ah, uh, really? I've uh, I'm I'm really tired of this, and I wish hope people would just understand, and not. I just I just get the same thing over. Okay. Namaste.